Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, we're taking off into the wild blue yonder. We'll meet a local business that's tapping a national market for aerial drone photography, video, mapping, and inspection. But first, the soaring shortage of qualified aviation technicians. Delta Airlines recently selected a PIA, maybe better known as the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics, as a partner to increase awareness of technician demand and to train people for the jobs. Steve Sabold is Director of Marketing and Information Technology for PIA, and Jeff Richards is Operations Manager of JSFirm.com, which is an aviation job website. And welcome. Good to have you both here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks yeah, for Steven, having us. So how about it? Somebody goes to school, they get these skills, there are jobs out there for them. It's really in demand right now. Oh man, I've been working for PIA for nearly 13 years, and I'd have to say it is both the most rewarding and the most frustrating job that I've ever had. Rewarding because graduation class after graduation class the entire time. Awesome job opportunities for those that are interested in, in getting into a field like this. Uh, the demand is probably at an all-time high. Uh, we hear it from so many different companies. But frustrating because uh, it, it's not necessarily a, a market or a, a, an industry or a, an occupation that a lot of people think about. Frustrating because there's uh, a, a lot of different uh, pressures out there for you know maybe going four-year education things oh, like that. There's a lot that. of competition so, for talent. Not, that's yeah, right. From other types of schools, other education, but also just other industries that are looking for technically minded people. And I would think you know we know we've got one, you know an international airport, we have the county airport, through the smaller regional airports. But you're thinking, well, how much job opportunity can there really be? You know. Right. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. First off, uh, maybe not in every but backyard is where they're going to have the opportunity to go and work as an aviation technician um, but aviation is nationwide worldwide there are um, many different sectors of the aviation industry it's not just about how you fly from one place to another um, uh, large large sectors and cargo Freight and cargo, for example. I mean, UPS is is one of those companies that probably owns. Well, look at FedEx Ground. FedEx right Ground, yes, yeah, huge right? number yeah, of freight and cargo that. Yeah. that goes. Uh, uh, sub military subcontracting companies, general aviation, corporate people with private jets, things like that. So there's a lot of a lot of different sectors of aviation that people don't necessarily realize exist. Yeah, do you um, see that a lot at JSFirm.com and all the jobs you're aggregating on your website? <laughs> yeah, they, there has never been a better time to come into an industry. Hmm. Anyone is looking uh, uh, for a new job, a new career, it, aviation has never been hotter. And it's, and it's not going to change. In the next five, ten years, it's only going to get Get, get better, right? Well, what's driving that growth of the industry, but also aging workforce? What are the dynamics that are at play right now? Both, yeah. Man manufacturing is up. Okay. Um, emerging markets, uh, you know, overseas, uh, you know, and um, uh, aging workforce. Yeah. So right now, uh, within aviation, 30% of the AMTs, aircraft maintenance technicians, 30% uh, are within um, retirement range. But backfilling, there's only two percent. Only two percent entering the the, the workforce um, are, are taking uh, the the maintenance trade. Wow! The so the, pi the pipeline is really thin then, considering yep. what the demand looks like. And man, yeah. the, the the whole safety issue and why these careers are so important really came uh, became apparent once again not that long ago with that awful situation on the Southwest Airlines jet when the engine just blew up. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, your people, your graduates, are on the front lines of making sure that never ever happens. Right? They really, yeah, they really are. I mean. It's all about uh, uh, the big thing with aviation. It's not like a car. You know, you when, when you don't wait until a problem has occurred, or you try not to wait until a problem has occurred until you address that issue. It really is about safety. Uh, even as a student, uh, making sure that every tool that you have is accounted for at the end of uh, at the end of the job that you're working on, uh, ensuring that everything uh, with that uh, with that parts or with that aircraft, whatever it is, following the procedures, <laughs> recording the information, ensuring that every all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed, is a very integral part of being an, uh, being an aviation technician, absolutely. Mm. And, uh, uh, and all kinds of jobs in demand, what's, what's sort of the biggest push right now and what you're seeing on, on JSFirm.com? Uh, pilots, a lot of attention gets put on, on pilots, um, but, but the, the maintenance end too. Yeah. Um, there's, there's numerous studies out there. The FAA, this is not a, uh, a new uh, 
things. The FAA has been predicting this for years. Mm. Uh, Boeing does uh, phenomenal studies. You've read the the uh, Boeing studies, ATEC studies. Um, I think over the next 20 years, uh, we're just the U.S. alone is going to need an additional 118,000 uh, aircraft maintenance technicians. Worldwide, that number is over 600,000. That's astounding. Yeah, when yeah. you think about it. And the school's been around a long time. You, yep. you all are no stranger to training people with this injury. It this has. Uh, we've actually been around since 1929. Oh, my God. Co-founded by uh, 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 Glenn Curtis and Orville Wright from, from the Wright Brothers, uh, based out of Pittsburgh. And uh, we have four locations now. We're in uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, uh, um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Youngstown, Ohio. Okay, as well um, as the home, the home as base. As well as the home base. Allegheny County Airport, in, right? In Allegheny yeah. County Airport. Yeah. And, uh, you know, PI is actually a really renowned school for the quality of the technician that we produce. In fact, we were just recently ranked by Forbes uh, magazine in, in 2017 as one of the top 30 two-year trade schools in the nation. We ranked number, uh, number 11 mm -hmm. and the first Ten were all nursing trades, so we actually rank the top technical tr two-year trade school uh, in the nation. A lot of that has to do with, um, and, and the metrics that was utilized with that has to do with the, the cost of the education versus the output versus the, the quantity of those graduating and the early income potential that there is in the aviation industry. That's really so, and yeah. the skills are so transferable. Okay, you can take the skills that you learn to to go and work on an aircraft and utilize them in so many different industries as well. No doubt. No, no doubt. There's a lot more that goes into aviation than pilots. <laughs> yeah, there's there's the the dispatchers and uh, the ground crew and the cabin crew and uh, it, it is it's it's it can be a pretty exciting career for for uh, you know the youth. That, that's one of the things we do is we the jsfirm.com. We've been working with schools uh, like PIA and organizations um, like EAA and Sun and Fun and AOPA um, to get the word out to to youth. And uh, and try to try to. Get All right, very good. We're out there. of time. So oh, where, how sorry. do we find so, you? Yep. Uh, www.pia.edu, or you're more than welcome to call our 800 number, 1-800-444-1440. PIA.edu. Yep. Could yep. not be easier to remember. Stephen Sabold from PIA, Jeff Richards yep. from JSFirm.com. Thank you. Thank Hopefully you can find a lot more students to take care of this need. It's really important yep. work. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Next up, need a drone pretty much anywhere in America? Well, all you have to do is call the Steel City. Stay with us.